In this installment of the Evergreen Communities On the Road to 3.0 video series, we're going to look at copy tags, also known as digital book plates. Copy tags are a great way to acknowledge gifts or donations that have been given to the library. Like public copy notes, a publicly visible tag will display in the public catalog and alongside other details related to the copy. However, there are some key differences between copy notes and tags. Copy tags can use a controlled vocabulary. This allows staff to go into the system ahead of time to create the text that should display for a particular funding source or donor. The other key difference is that copy tags can be made searchable in the public catalog. When that one large donor asks for a list of titles that have been purchased with their donation, staff can point them towards the list of search results, allowing the donor to check on updates at any time. It also allows libraries to link to these search results from their website or Facebook page when promoting this collection. Adding a tag to a copy is very easy. Catalogers can either add them as part of the cataloging process with a few clicks of the mouse, or if applying a tag to a batch of items, staff can scan these items into a bucket and use the Apply Tags action. Although digital book plates are a primary use of copy tags, there are other broader uses that can be applied. For example, a library may want to use copy tags to identify materials that have been autographed. In this example, we see a library that adds a tag for items autographed by the author and another tag for those autographed by the illustrator. Using the digital book plate search, patrons can easily find all materials with any autograph or could limit the search to just those that have an author autograph. This example also shows where free text entry of a tag may come in handy. If you want to identify who signed the book, a controlled vocabulary may not work for you but staff can easily add a new tag value at the same time they are applying the new tag. What are some ideas you have for using this versatile new feature? Feel free to post your ideas in the comments section of this video. That's the very broad overview of how libraries can use Evergreen's new copy tags feature. Many thanks to Galen Charlton of the Equinox Open Library Initiative for developing the feature and to the Pennsylvania Integrated Library System for inspiring and funding it. Thank you for joining us in this installment of the Evergreen On the Road to 3.0 video series. Stay tuned for our next video highlighting all the great stuff we'll be using in 3.0.